In a lot of ways, it's a journey of trial and error, right? So you have your first project and it's garbage. Always. It's garbage, it's so bad. Realize that making videos is the start of a never ending journey of looking inward at yourself and measuring of what you're capable of doing against an arena of people that have been doing it for years. It's like any creative medium, there are people in that field that are better than you are at that moment. And that can be crippling, that can be devastating. Understand that creation is not a comparative against those people, it's a comparative against yourself. What you make next is only comparable to what you made before. Even if you haven't made anything, is only comparable to what you made before, which is nothing. Therefore, you have literally nothing to lose by starting. You can not fail just by making your first one. I literally wouldn't be here if you hadn't started making videos. Uh -huh. There may have been other YouTube channels that helped along the way, but the original ideas came from seeing your unbelievably impressive, even to this day, videos that you put out there on the internet. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that would not be here if you hadn't decided to make videos with Sam. Early on, all these people that are part of Corridor, I've always said this to my friends and people that I work with, like inspiration is the most valuable currency. If you can inspire someone to do something, they can move mountains. So if you wanna be inspired, go check out In Space. Part one came out a few weeks ago from when this video is dropping, and part two probably just came out. It's really cool, there's nothing else quite like it. It feels like you're both playing a game and watching a movie at the same time. It's really cool. It's, it is you going out there and doing something creative and fully like yourself while also acknowledging all the other art forms that are around it. I really enjoyed it actually. I thought it was really neat. Thanks, man. I want Markiplier. If there was one creator on the entire internet, one person that I would most want to be and be with, it would be Markiplier. He's not the largest of the OG trinity of PewDiePie, Jacksepticeye, and him, but he's most undoubtedly the one I would want to be. So today, who is he? What has he done? Why am I talking about him? And how he became the most inspiring YouTuber. Who is he? Mark Edward Fishbach is a fascinating man who's gone through a lot of fascinating things from growing up poor losing his dad studying medical engineering and having a tumor there are so many things that have happened to him throughout his life so many compelling thought-provoking things and so many people know him as the king of five nights at freddy's or the king of squirrels and he has spawned so many memes e the Bite of 87, Big Brain Time, Pokemon Smasher Pass. He's a goddamn genius. And despite his character Markiplier being a very egotistical, boisterous, and confident person, Mark seems like a genuine down-to-earth creator. And when I say creator, I don't mean an influencer or even a YouTuber. I mean a creative person, a filmmaker, a marketing mastermind. And above all else, a fucking artist. I watched him look at a banana for five minutes straight. I joined him in the greatest endeavor in internet history, Unis Anis. And Anis died for all of us. Memento Mori. He has done more to entertain, more than make content. He has etched himself into my very being. The halls of my memory have a permanent exhibit in his honor. I love Markiplier, parasocially and professionally, and maybe a little bit more than I should, but he is the most influential YouTuber I have ever seen. He is my goddamn hero. And if I make something, anything, even with an iota, even with a phantasmally minuscule percent of the greatness that he shat out onto this hellscape of a website, then I would be proud. What has he done? He has done so many things. Popularizing Five Nights at Freddy's throwing a chair and getting over it, losing his very soul in pogo stuff, making the world's quietest let's play, calling out bad websites for stealing his merch, crying thousands of times for the betterment of the internet, feuding with a canned corn company, I watched him play a dating sim for almost two hours just so that he could shame them for making a character without his permission. And he ended up paying them for microtransaction money because he just wanted to beat the game. It was playful and it was entertaining. The lengths of which I could talk about his vast and sizable accomplishments would last until the universe decays into zombie galaxies and eats itself. 
why I'm talking about him. The reason I'm talking about him is because of his latest project. In Space with Markiplier is fantastic. And I played it on stream. And I never actually played one of his interactive stories before. I don't know how. I tend to be spread thin with my literal hundreds of channels I'm subscribed to on YouTube. I tend to miss a few things. A lot of things. But fuck. I really enjoyed it. And I love that after all this time, Mark has consistently grown as a filmmaker. He's always been one, and he's always created things like this. But something about the scope and the quality of space just spoke to me. I love Markiplier. If it wasn't for him, this channel wouldn't exist. My first video, a video I privated many, many, many months ago, was about how Unisonis inspired me to start posting. I spent years floating in the black empty void, making content but never showing anyone, hating myself and my work. But not until Honest spoke to us at the end of it all did I actually start. When he said, all you have to do is make something. I never felt more inspired. And recently he appeared on Corridor Digital and he spoke a few words that sums up why I love him so much. I just had to write this script. I just had to record and edit this video. It needed to be posted because I know I'm not the only person that feels this way. And people need to remember, they need to realize that Mark is the most inspiring man I have ever had the pleasure of oogling. And goddamn, he is so fucking hot. Jesus Christ. Do they make them all like that in Cincinnati? Fuck. When Ethan painted him gold? Fuck, man. He made me feel a type of way. I wasn't sure I could feel that way. He's so buff. Like, that's a man. So thanks, Mark. You're pretty cool. I doubt you'll see this, but keep it up. I have no doubt in your next endeavor, it'll be even better and even bigger. It's too bad YouTube shut down originals, but I hope you can keep making stuff like this despite YouTube throwing in the towel. Anyway, I'm Aloni the Bard. Thanks for listening. Memento Mori, Unis Anis. Bye. Whew. While making this video, Mark just had his 10 year anniversary and I had no idea it had been that long. No idea just how much work he put into all of this. And I hope that one day in 10 years, I guess, I'm still making content because it truly is all that matters to me. Creating, learning, being seen, affecting others, getting comments, and hitting milestones. That's all it's ever been about, and all it'll ever be about. While I was writing this, my power went out. I was just gonna start working on this video, and boom! During a calm and serene day here in the freezing cold void, the wind picked up, and a tree fell, and a power line exploded, and I was just sitting there having an existential crisis. But I realized something. I really like making content. <laughs> It's all I want to do, and when I wasn't allowed to do that, I realized how much it hurt that I couldn't make this. And now I'm here, my power came back on, and I'm making this video. I just spent the last two hours pulling B-roll from Mark's channel to put in the background. Anyway, in other news, I'm almost at 50 followers on Twitch. So if you managed to actually watch this entire video, thanks, and why. And if you're listening to these words, check it out. Check out my Twitch, please. I just need four of you to go to Twitch and follow me. Just four. I can't wait anymore. I just want to make emotes, damn it. Please. You don't even have to watch me. You know, every Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at 3 p.m. But just please, just follow me. Anyway, I won't grovel anymore. It's disgusting and obtuse. Thanks for watching. Bye. And now that we've gotten to the bottom of this mystery, I think we all learned a valuable lesson. And if you don't know what that lesson is, then you weren't paying attention. So you got to go back. Okay, goodbye. I've already said my goodbye. 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 Smash that like button. Smash it. Smash it. Smash it. Smash that like button. Smash it.